Hey guys, this is Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to Body Bags. It is Friday, and this week I am inch I am doing a review on 2004 film starting Lorenzo Lamas. Yes, Mr. Renegade. And it's called Deep Evil. I found this one uh, at a thrift store. It was only a couple bucks. So I had to pick it up. I read the back, watched it. Pretty decent. Pretty much, it's your typical science fiction slash horror run of the mill. Uh, there is a lab in Alaska. They are working with alien DNA and with genetics. Something happens, and of course, uh, the lab is shut down. It's in containment, full lockdown. They have to send in a crack team of uh, soldiers to find out if it was a terrorist uh, or if it was accidental or maybe someone's a traitor, you know, all that shit. So Lorenzo Lamas is in charge of this elite crack team to figure out what's going on. So there's a bunch of them, a couple scientists, they go to Alaska to this mountain town. Uh, they go inside and of course no one is around. There's nothing. Just destruction, no blood, uh, no bodies. And they're just trying to figure out what. So they're going through all the systems and everything. Well, they come to find out there is actually a, a scientist still alive. She's screaming infection. You need to get out. There's things everywhere. Well, they end up killing her just to get rid of supposedly the infection. Well, come to find out it is an alien that's gotten loose. This alien can absorb and mix its own DNA with water. So it's a water-based alien. And this thing can form into humans, uh, spiders, anything like or living to like puddles of water. So if there's just water sprinkling everywhere, it could be the alien creature coming after them. <clears throat> Some weird CGI with this film, especially with the water spiders and the uh, water creatures. Later on, they show what the actual alien looks like out of its true form. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great, but it was just a fun little flick. Uh, nothing special on it, so if you're into like CGI, don't bother, because I said this will probably be a bad CGI movie for you. But if you don't give a shit about horrible CGI, this will be fun for you to watch. Uh, I'm going to sneeze, I think. Um, the acting was, was pretty good, and... Uh, <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm not recording again. This is my third one. Uh, so pretty much, uh, the acting was not bad. Lorenzo Lamas did a fine job. Um, there's a couple. Uh, Omar Gogger was okay, and uh, wasn't bad at all. Except from a 2004 movie. This is done in Canada, so this is a Canadian film. And uh, if you check by it, if you can find it dirt cheap, I highly suggest maybe picking it up, giving it a watch. And if you want to buy it, as long as it's cheap, like I only spent like a dollar on this film. It was worth a dollar. I was entertained for the 93 minutes, and it was decent. The creatures take out the team one at a time. Your typical, like I said, sci-fi horror film. So, guys, check out Deep Evil if you want. I highly recommend it. It's a fun flick. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.